Welcome back to the London Perspective, I'm Stefan, and today we're discussing the recent news surrounding Novak Djokovic and his father, Sergin Djokovic, at the Australian Open. As many of you may know, Sergin Djokovic had been filmed taking a photograph with a spectator who wore a Z symbol t-shirt and held a Russian flag containing a photo of Vladimir Putin's face. Novak Djokovic admitted that the scrutiny surrounding this affected him in the build-up to his semi-final victory over Tommy Paul. Now, some of you may be wondering how this could have affected Novak Djokovic's performance on the court. Well, in his own words, he stated that, it has got to me, of course. It's not easy for any athlete to have something like this happen in the background, especially leading up to such a big match. But, as we saw in his match against Paul, Djokovic was able to put that aside and secure a comfortable victory. Now, it's important to note that Djokovic's father and his family have been through several wars during the 90s, and as Djokovic stated, they are against war and will never support any violence or any war. It's unfortunate that this photograph has been misinterpreted, and that Djokovic's father has been misused in this situation by this group of people. Despite this setback, Djokovic continues to unlock astounding achievements. With this victory, he has now reached 33 Grand Slam finals, extending his Open Era record. At 35, he's also the fourth oldest man in the Open Era to reach the Australian Open final. And with 27 consecutive wins in Melbourne dating back to 2019, he now boasts the biggest winning streak in the history of the tournament. So, what's next for Djokovic? He'll be facing Stefanos Tsitsipas in the final on Sunday. This will be a rematch of the 2021 French Open final, which was won by Djokovic. Sitsi Pass has been playing great tennis as well, and it's going to be an exciting match to watch. As always, thank you for tuning in to the London Perspective, and we'll be back with more updates and discussions on the world of sports.